head over the top of the slip. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. It's that and this. Okay, so basically when someone throws a jab, you want to be on the outside of his jab. Okay, so he jabs, you want to be on the outside. The shot goes over, this, over your left shoulder. And if, you, if he throws a right cross, you want to slip to your left. Okay, you come back with a left hook. Okay, so again, so if you do this, he jabs, slip, come back with a right cross. Okay, he can throw his right cross, you can come back and go back, go over your left hook. Okay, again, if he throws a jab, you can slip, make sure your hand's there, come in with a body shot. Again, you can throw a right cross, you can slip a little bit lower, come in with a body shot to the body. Okay, go for the rib cage. Okay, so another one you can do is for the slip, is all you got to do is don't go too far with your slip. You know, all it is is just that much, just that much to get the good past your face. If he jabs, slip, you can come back, you can react better. So if he jabs, slip, bam, come back with the cross. Okay, so one I used to like was if he jabbed, I'd miss, hit, and if I missed him with that, or even if I did, I'd come back with a jab. Okay, so it's very hard to defend against. So if he jabs, one, bam, bam, slip. Okay, the other way you can do is throw a right cross, slip, come back with a left hook over the top, or a left hook to the body. Okay, it's a really good way of learning, and the way you can do this, you can, you can use a floor to ceiling ball. Okay, so they've got the ball in the middle, so the ball's flapping. You hit, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip, slip. Okay, so you slip, so as long as it doesn't hit your face, put the ball so it's going to hit your face, so you slip, so you've got to get your head out the way every time. Okay, so you can also use it when someone use, is using the pads with yourself. So someone's got the pad, they jab, and they'll come back with a jab. You just slip that shot. So you jab, bang, bang, slip. Another one uh, person I used to really like uh, watching was, I think we all just like watching, was Mike Tyson. One for his excitement, but also he was very good. What he didn't get rated for was he, was he slipping the punches, especially when he first started. He was very good, very fast at moving his, not just his hands, but his head. And a lot of fighters used to struggle because they were very tall and they'd be jabbing him, straight punches, and he'd just roll in, he'd slip, slip, or he'd roll in, moving his head. Okay, he had the peekaboo style, which was very high, coming forward, but he was very fast at moving his head. So if you ever watch him training, boom, 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 very quick, very, very, very fast at moving his head from side to side. Again, for, for an opponent who's, who's tall and jabbing, it's hard because he's moving his head so fast, you know, it's very hard to, he was very hard to nail with, with, a, with a good punch. It was only later on in his career when he slowed down a bit and he neglected his uh, defence that he started getting hit. But when he first came on the scene, when he boxed with Trevor Berwick and people like that, he was awesome and he was feared, you know, um, and that, that was really, he, he took the bob and weave into another, another great fighter was Floyd Patterson, who, uh, again one of Custom Martyrs prodigies, but he was again a very underneath, coming with the hooks, okay, so Tyson was a, a very good mover at slipping at both sides.